Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mohamed Irfan, Consultant Rheumatologist at Medicare Hospital, High Tech City, Hyderabad. Today I will be talking about autoimmunity in general and what are, the, what are the diseases related to autoimmunity. First of all, autoimmunity and the MD. On our body, we have our immune system that is white blood cells. When these white blood cells get activated and damage our own body, then we call this as autoimmunity. And the immune system mana body ki damage is the autoimmune condition at the chapter. And this autoimmunity can affect any part of the body, any organ of the body. Suppose if it is affecting the liver, we call it autoimmune hepatitis. When it is affecting our muscles, we call it autoimmune myositis. Similar to that, it can affect any organ, most common and the joints too. Then we call it arthritis. Simple arthritis or autoimmune arthritis or inflammatory arthritis. So, uh, what we should know what are the common uh, symptoms of uh, autoimmune myositis or any autoimmune condition. When it is affecting the muscle, the common symptoms are myalgia or muscle pain. Uh, actually, we should remember that there are many causes for muscle pain or myalgia. Simple and uh, common infections can cause muscle pain, drugs can cause muscle pain, thyroid disorders can cause muscle pain. Autoimmune myositis is a rare condition which presents as muscle pain and gradual the we feel weakness in the muscles and uh, symptoms which is we will have difficulty in lifting our heads above the uh, lifting our hands above the head or getting up from the sweating position it like symptoms or that or muscle weakness or we will have difficulty in doing our day to day activities in the simultaneously we will have other symptoms in form of low grade fever weight loss uh, decrease uh, appetite or later you can have other symptom, other systems involvement and the skin low rashes around most common on the face or the chest or upper back or they can have joint pains or stiffness in the joints which is more in the morning hours or they can have uh, whitish discoloration on the fingertips whenever we put our fingers in the water or we can notice a discoloration of fingertips or they can maybe uh, dryness of the mouth or dryness of the eyes so he and the symptoms are related to autoimmune conditions or we can say autoimmune myositis the water uh, complications if the disease is not diagnosed early it can sometimes affect major internal organs like heart liver uh, lungs and kidneys so timely diagnosis and initiation of treatment is very important and uh, is there any uh, treat are these condition treatable yes they are definitely treatable they are may many options to treat these autoimmune conditions we call them as dmars that is disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs either they can be oral tablets or injection form and how long the treatment should be taken that depends on the severity of the patient it is not fixed for all the patient it depend patient to patient when the diagnosis when the condition is diagnosed what is the severity and the diagnosis so based on that we decide how long the treatment should be taken and if the treatment is taken uh, at the appropriate time then we can prevent long term complications so in short uh, these autoimmune conditions are very rare and they are usually missed uh, by uh, common people and uh, common physicians so whenever you notice any symptoms which i have mentioned uh, then it can be autoimmune condition and it is always better to consult a qualified nearby rheumatologist uh, so that you can have early diagnosis and proper treatment thank you